Hi, today we are going to see about adaptive dif differential pulse code modulation in digital communications. Adaptive differential pulse code modulation ADPCM is a type of differential pulse code modulation. It is also a differential coding technique that uses differential values like DPCM. ADPCM was developed to overcome the drawbacks of DPCM and delta modulation DM. Unlike DPCM, the signal variation in ADPCM helps to change the step size of the quantization levels. It reduces the overload error during the modulation process. The step size is direct, directly proportional to the speed rate of the input message. If the variation of the message signal is at a high rate, the step size will be high. Similarly, if the variation of the message signal is at a slower rate, the step size will be small. DPCM requires fewer levels for the quantization process as compared to the pulse code modulation process. ADPCM requires fewer number of levels as compared to both the DPCM and PCM models. It means that ADPCM provides better bandwidth reduction than DPCM and PCM. The numbers of levels are directly proportional to the bandwidth. The fewer the levels, the lesser the bandwidth will be. This is the block diagram of adaptive differential pulse code modulation technique. The block diagram of ADPCM contains the quantizer at ends, encoder, predictor as feedback loop and a decoder. The function of the encoder is similar to the modulation process and the function of the decoder is similar to the demodulation. Quantizer is present in the circuit of ADPCM at both the transmitting and receiving ends of the circuit. It reduces the number of discrete symbols. It adds some redundant bits and compresses the data to make it suitable for storage and transmission. An encoder is a device that converts the analog signal to digital pulses. It responds to each sample by generating a binary pulse or pattern. It also reduces the transmission bandwidth depending on the step size of between the quantization levels. Different level quantizers can be used for assigning different number of binary digits. In receiver side, the quantizer works as a reverse quantizer. It generates a quantized opposite signal using these same binary digits. The adaptive predictor completes the feedback loop by generating the estimation of the input signal. The feedback loop detects the variation in the message signal which helps in changing the step size. The digitally encoded signal arrives at the receiver. It first removes the noise from the signal. The quantization process does not allow the easy separation of the signal and the noise. Hence, it is essential to remove the noise from the signal at the decoding stage. It works similar to the demodulation process and converts the binary pulses to the original form or the analog signal. Good bandwidth compression ADPCM has better bandwidth compression ability due to the less number of quantization level involved in the quantization process. And also ADPCM consumes low power than PCM and DPCM. It is due to the efficient algorithm that uses lower transmission rates. And the ADPCM technique does not require a handshake to start the transmission process. These three are the advantages of ADPCM. And also, the modulation of ADPCM follows the input signal. It helps it to detect any changes in the signal. The variation in the signal are used to change the step size in the quantization process. Hence, the modulation process of ADPCM is easy as compared to DPCM. The step size can be changed according to the signal variation. The disadvantages of ADPCM are as follows. High quantization noise than DPCM is one of the disadvantages of ADPCM when compared to PCM and DPCM. The continuous variable slope delta modulation, a type of DM, has better advantage than ADPCM. 
the step size variation by the receiver should match the step size variation made by the transmitter the applications of adpcm adpcm is used in various applications such as ip telephony also known as voice over internet protocol it is a technology that delivers voice transmissions over the ip the adpcm algorithm is used to increase the line's capacity to twice an example of adpcm is digital enhanced cordless telecommunications which is used in cordless telephones the adpcm uses the signal performance in the past and predicts it in the future and the output signal will signify the prediction error which has no importance these three are the assessments questions based on adpcm topic thank you